Hi there. It's John Goff from the College of Physicians of Philadelphia. I'm here at Cumberland and Almond Streets in the Port Richmond section of Philadelphia at Green Grows Farm. Believe it or not, there is a working urban farm right here in North Philadelphia. I'm really excited to find out how they do what they do at this really innovative place. So follow me. I'm here with Ryan Cook from Green Grows. Thank you so much for giving us some time this morning, Ryan. Sure. Uh, it's a pretty impressive operation you've got right here. It's kind of wild, you know, you're just uh, a few feet from the, the Delaware River and the Thriftway and Aramingo Avenue and all that stuff, but you got this amazing farm going on. How long have, has the farm been here? Well, um, Green Grows is our 10th year now, our 11th year, and it's definitely taken um, those 10 years to really become the place it has been. It's changed a lot and still changes every year pretty significantly. I've been here four years now, and if, if I looked back at what it looked like when I started, I, I don't know if I'd recognize it. And um, So yeah, it, it's still early spring, so there's not that many people here, but things are definitely getting started. The hanging baskets just came in the other day, and people are already starting to buy, our, buy flowers and starts for Easter. Uh, people in Philly really like to get their stuff in the ground pretty early and risk a little bit of a frost damage, but we have to have things here way before maybe when we probably should. So a lot of stuff is still in the greenhouse, trying to keep it a little bit warm. Uh, we had a frost last night, it got down to 29, so it's really important for us to, to move things around all the time and make sure everyone has what they want when they want it. Um, you, how many greenhouses do you have on the premises? Well, we are, really only have one true greenhouse. This is a three bay greenhouse, so they're all connected into one structure. Um, but then we, we do most of our vegetable growing in hoop houses, which are like greenhouses with a plastic roof and walls, but they don't have any heat source. We just rely on passive solar radiation from the sun to really provide them with the warmth. And it allows us to extend the season a little bit longer. We actually can grow some things all winter long in an unheated hoop house. And the soil really holds the heat um, and, and radiate, radiates it back up for the plant. So it'll, it'll freeze and frost in there in the winter, but um, some plants like broccoli and um, spinach and carrots in the ground they can they can survive even a frost in the winter so tell us a little bit more about the csa program i think for a lot of us who live in the area uh, it's the first way that we heard about green growth farms so. sure yeah the csa is definitely one of our flagship programs and it's been really popular um so they, we have uh, 400 members right now and it's a it's a membership club it's a way for for people in the neighborhood and anyone else that's interested in local food to really, I guess, see a little bit of behind the scenes of where food comes from. So we grow some stuff here, but then we also work with a lot of local farms with a 100 mile radius that, you know, need an outlet for food. And the, the people come here, they pay a membership fee um, up front at the beginning of the season. So that gives us the money that we need to buy seeds and to buy the starts and the tools that we need to grow the food. And then they come every week and they get a, what's called a share as a part of their membership. They get a share of the produce that we're able to bring in. And so it's, it's a really nice program. They get to come here every week. We get to talk with them and interact with them instead of a, a grocery store. Maybe you get to see the, 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 the people that stock the shelves, but you don't really get to meet the farmers. You don't really get to, to meet the people behind the scenes. So it's a nice interaction that people can bring their kids and they get to sort of see how the farm changes throughout the season. Uh, farmers that we work with really like it too because we'll buy a lot of food all at once. We'll bring it in here and then we have a guaranteed market of customers that really know us and trust us and we're you know kind of like an old time food broker people that you know in the neighborhood that you really trust that that they can find the good food for you and make sure that it's here when you want it and so it's a nice little program i saw some things getting underway over here in the hoop houses so what are you guys going to be growing this season well we try to, to grow a, a mix of things so that people that maybe don't have experience growing food can sort of see what what different things look like at different times of the year so uh, right now we're doing a lot of sal uh, um, spinach and salad mix. We put our peas and our beans into the ground. Uh, we're starting carrots and beets right now. And then later on the season we'll have our tomatoes and peppers and eggplants and the things that people really enjoy eating the most fresh. Uh, we did popcorn actually last year, which was a fun little project. And uh, I don't really know. Well, we keep kind of changing it as the season goes along. And we, we do a lot of different rotations. So. Every month when you come here, there'll be different stuff in the beds, and, and it'll be kind of exciting. So. Well, it's a really great place. It's a very innovative model, and it's a wonderful resource for the people in this community and throughout Philadelphia. It's really inspiring. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, pleasure. Right. It's been a really good time hanging out here at Green Grows Farm this morning. We talked to Ryan Cook about how the farm works. Now I want to talk to two people who participate in their community-supported agriculture product, and that is a really good program because not only does it provide produce that is grown right here at this farm. It gathers produce, meat, and dairy from farms within a hundred mile radius of Philadelphia and brings it all right here to this community. So let's talk to Dan and Molly. All right, I'm here with Dan and Molly who both participate in the Green Grows Farm CSA program. How are you guys doing today? Good. Great. 
Good. Well, it's a it's a it's a lovely spring day. It's a little bit chilly, but it's uh, awesome to be out here in a farm in Fort Richmond. It's pretty neat. How long have you guys been in the program? This was our first time in it, the winter CSA. Um, we started because we moved here in August, and we were really excited that the farm was here. And then as soon as we could get into the CSA, we did, which was this last winter. Is there a lot of competition to get in? Uh, for the summer CSA, we understand it's pretty tough to get into. For the winter, not so much because um, whether or not they'll have the vegetables, it's, it's a little dicey. So <laughs> okay. not as many people are interested in the, in the winter. You get, how often do you guys come here to pick up your allotment? Once every two weeks. Once every two weeks. You want to show us some of the things you got? Today? Sure. All sure. Right, cool. Well, have at it. Uh, let's see. We pulled out a couple things in the bag. Um, we got this. What is this one called again? <laughs> I I wasn't totally sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's I think it's the corn relish. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the, the interesting things we get because lots of times we get things we don't know what it is. Um, we've learned about new vegetables, new varieties of potatoes, um, and so jars like this, which. I'm not sure what we'll do with it, but it, it looks good. It does it look good. good. It's good and it's exciting. <laughs> and what about this here? That's our chorizo. We have a meat share. There's vegetarian, there's meat shares, but we, we are the meat eaters, so we got our chorizo. Very excited about it. And does that come from farms in the area? Is that how that works? It you does. Know, meats, um, locally produced meats from different farms. Yeah, they, they it doesn't just come from the supermarket. No, over there. no. Uh, they, they tell us like we get emails a few days in advance. They okay. tell us like all the farms are sending us things. So this one, uh, it's from Country Time Farm in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, very cool. So somewhere close, I'm sure. So they let you know via email what's going to be available for the next coming Saturday. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. Well, okay. Anything else you want to show us in the bag? Uh. Let's see, it's just our, our normal crop of things. We got lots of mushrooms, uh, some potatoes, some eggs, some yogurt, just a good variety of things. Black cherry yogurt? Black, Black cherry, cherry yogurt, yes. <laughs> a favorite, and you've got veggies in your I've bag. got veggies, got some lettuce, which is a big treat because that's really not been the winter CSA. That's right. And then apples, which are akin to potatoes for that, the winter CSA. We get them about every week. So you've been able to get apples time. all winter long. Oh, apples all winter long. That's really awesome. Yeah, apples and potatoes, they're always there. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. But luckily we like them. <laughs> good. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to us today, and I uh, uh, hope you have a good summer. Yeah. Thanks a lot. We also got cookies. <laughs> <laughs>